the, the underground is beginning to take shape in Train Simulator. First, we had the Virtual District Line, then the yes stop, then the Virtual District Line again, and now, the Metropolitan Line. <laughs> but before I start craving all over this route, let's review it. Roll the intro, Gary! Gary, you're meant to insert the DVD first. <laughs> Time for some history. Opening in 1863, the Metropolitan Line is London's first and oldest subway route, stretching from London to London and, uh, out of London. It is also the fastest line on the underground, reaching speeds up to 60 miles per hour on some sections, and of course, the line is served by s dock trains. Which replaced the a stock. <laughs> Just Trains announced the Met Line earlier this year, and kept the community up to date with their progress, before eventually releasing it to the public a while later. At last, it is time to see what the route looks like for ourselves. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what else to say about this route, other than the fact it looks fantastic! Just look at the amount of detail, the tunnels, the stations, the scenery, the assets. They're all beautiful. Honestly, Just Trains, top notch work done here. Well done. Just need to check if the Finchley Road to Amazon section isn't ripped off London to Ellsbury. Just give me a sec. Um, uh, hmm, uh, hmm, okay. The fact that they also managed to construct the entirety of the Met Line is another big bonus. Not a single area missed. That's probably a page Dorothy should take from your books. <laughs> Even the ambient sounds are very interesting. It's cool, but I think ambient recordings of real life trains and current in game sounds isn't really a great mix. But that's only my opinion. Don't hurt me, please. Another feature included in this route are approach control and draw up signals. These are signals where you have to approach them at certain reduced speeds in order so they can let you proceed. Otherwise, if you don't, this will happen. Ah, fuck. It's a very advanced and annoying feature, but good nonetheless. Anything for the realism, I guess. That's not all of it though, because Just Trains also managed to fish out an S7 Plus One stop, including the S7 quarters as well. And if you look closely, you can see that the classic Johnston font has been applied to the carriage numbers. It's just a shame that they failed to acknowledge that, you know. The Hamsworth and City, Circle and District Lines have destinations too. But if you want that, it's on Alan's website. Now obviously the S7 is literally just the S8 stop, but with longitudinal seating. So I'm not going to sit here and review it again. I did that in an earlier video. However, I have little hope that they may have updated the sounds. Well then, have we got new sounds? Let's just move on. But if you do want better sounds, I would recommend that you go and download the Linus Train Tip sound mod for this train and have a play with that. Until Sam T releases his version, of course, which will be much better. <laughs> Next. So, with all of that out of the way, what is the cost of the route? Pardon? Come again. Hang on a second. So you're telling me that after all of this, the main route is a separate purchase from the other included trains, both of which are also separate purchases. What? At least it included a bundle to get the route of the S7, but not for the S8. Oh dear. Yeah, it's a bit too pricey in my opinion. It would have been much better if either A, the train was included with the route in the first place, or B, if the S7 was included as part of the main S8 stock pack. Paying almost £44 for the same train and then an extra £30 for the route seems a tad too much. I mean, yes, the route is very high quality, but put it this way, the Western Main Lines is longer and costs less. That says something, doesn't it? Oh well, at least they didn't do an Armstrong powerhouse. Yes, we updated the 50s, so give us 4 dollars I must have to pay for the entire train again, but at 24 99 Fick off! <laughs> and that's pretty much all I have to say about the route. 
overall, it's a very nice route to drive and highly recommended if you are into the underground. My only other verdict would be that it would have been even better if there was an A stock included, as well as the 96 stock for Jubilee Line AI between Finchley Road and Wembley Park. But other than that, just trains have really upped their game lately, and I'm looking forward to what they pop up with next. Anyway, I want to go and enjoy this route further now. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!